Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve three interesting examples based on energy and power of the signals. Before I start with my solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So this is question number one. Freeze the video and try it by your own. This is question number two. Freeze the video and try it by your own. And this is last question of this video. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I will explain solution of question one. See in question one, we need to identify energy and power of y of t. Here x of t that is given based on ram signal and y of t that is differentiation of x of t with respect to time. So first of all, we need to identify y of t. See here y of t that is differentiation of x of t with respect to time and here x of t that is there with us that is rt minus rt minus 2. One should know differentiation of ram signal that is step signal. In properties of signals I have explained this. Differentiation of ram signal that is step signal. Differentiation of step signal that is impulse signal. Right. So here we have ram signal differentiation of ram signal is step signal. So differentiation of r of t with respect to time that is u of t and differentiation of r of t minus 2 with respect to time that is u of t minus 2. Now I need to represent this y of t in form of mathematical function. So first of all I need to plot this. So here we have y of t that is u t minus u of t minus 2. So what is u of t? See if I plot it over here then u of t that will start from t is equals to 0 and it will be having magnitude 1 like this. So this is u of t and here if you observe minus u of t minus 2 that is there with us. Minus means it will be having negative amplitude and t minus 2 means it will start at t is equals to 2 second. So here we will be having negative of u of t minus 2 signal where here we have minus 1 amplitude. Right. Now I need to represent in total function that is algebraic addition of this signal and this signal. Right. Now if you observe from 0 onwards then here only u of t signal is there. So from 0 onwards we have magnitude 1 and only u of t signal is there up to t is equals to 2. And at t is equals to 2 we have step signal with negative 1 amplitude. So if you add this signal with this signal then here we will be having 0 amplitude. So this signal in total is u of t minus u of t minus 2. Right. Now let me represent this pulse signal in mathematical form. So here we have y of t that is having 1 magnitude during t in between 0 to 2. Right. Now we can identify energy and power of it. First of all one should know as if signal is having finite amplitude and finite duration then there are higher chances that signal is energy signal. So we need to identify energy of this signal first. So here you should know energy is integration where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite square of this signal right. Now we need to apply signal with limit. So here time is there in between 0 to 2 and y of t is 1. So 1 square that we need to place integration of 1 that is t and limit is there from 0 to 2. So 2 minus 0 that is 2 joule. So energy of given signal that is 2 joule. And as if signal is energy signal, 
then one should know power of it is zero. So that is how we can identify energy and power of given signal. Now let me solve second question. See in second question, we need to identify energy and power of x of t and x of t is algebraic sum of ramp signals. So first of all, I need to make function of x of t. See r of t that is initiated at t is equals to 0 and that is having slope that is equals to 1. So this r of t that I'll plot over here. So here we have r of t you can observe that r of t that is initiated at t is equals to 0 and that is having slope that is equals to plus 1. Here we have minus of r of t minus 2. See t minus 2 means it is initiated at t is equals to 2 and minus is there means slope is equals to minus 1. So at t is equals to 2 we have r of t minus 2 and for negative sign over here we have negative slope. So this is minus of r of t minus 2 and that is having slope that is equals to minus 1. Right. Now let me plot in total signal. So that is algebraic addition of this and this. In between 0 to 2 here only r of t is there. So it will be appearing somewhat like this you can observe. It will be appearing like this and after t is equals to 2 here negative slope is added. So plus 1 and minus 1 that is resulting into 0 slope. So after t is equals to 2 second there will be horizontal line right. If you talk about amplitude over here then as per this line is having slope that is equals to 1 after 2 second here amplitude will be 2 right. Now for this signal we need to identify energy and power. Now you need to understand this signal. If you talk about this much signal, see if you talk about this much signal, then with this much signal, we have finite amplitude and finite duration. Means this much portion is energy signal, right? And for energy signal, energy will be finite and power is zero. So let us say here energy that is somewhat constant k and power is 0. After t is equals to 2 second, after t is equals to 2 second, we have step signal. Here we have unit step signal into amplitude 2. So for unit step signal, I have explained energy and power calculation. If you have seen my video based on energy and power calculation for unit step signal then I have explained that that is power signal right it is not energy signal. So as it is not energy signal it is power signal energy will be infinite with it right. So here for this portion of signal for this portion of signal after t greater than 2 we have power signal. And for power signal, power will be somewhat constant k dash and energy is infinite. So if you talk about total energy for this given signal, then that will be constant plus infinite. So that will be infinite. And if you talk about total power of this signal, then that will be 0 plus k dash means in total signal is power signal. Now I will explain calculation of power for t greater than 2 right. So if you want to identify power then power p that is limit capital T tends to infinite 1 by 2 t integration is there from minus t to capital T square of the signal right. So that is what calculation of power. Now here you need to understand this limit only. See here if you observe the limit then here minus t to t that is how limit is there 
so here we are talking about signal which is this step signal with magnitude 2 right so that is having limit which is positive limit only and that is ranging from 2 to infinite so here you can say from 2 to infinite here t is going towards infinite so 2 to t that you need to write where x of t that is having amplitude 2 so here you need to say 2 square instead of x of t for this limit now if you further calculate this then here see this 2 square that is constant right and integration of 1 that is t and if you place limit then t minus 2 that is what the solution which we have with this integration right now we need to further solve this so here we have limit capital T tends to infinite 2 minus 4 by t right and if you place t tends to infinite so 4 by t that will be 0 so this calculation will be 2 only so 2 watt that is what the total power right so here total power that is k dash that is 2 watt plus 0 right so total power is 2 watt and energy is infinite so for power signal energy is infinite now i will solve last question of this video see in last question we have triangular waveform and for this signal we need to identify energy and power here we have finite duration and finite time so but obviously we will identify energy of it here we need to represent given signal in form of function first so here to represent function of this waveform if you talk about x of t where here we are talking about limit of t from 0 to 1 so at that time here x of t that is ramp signal with slope is equals to unity you can observe change in y divided by change in x that is 1 right and it is starting from t is equals to 0 so here we have x of t that is equals to t right or t belongs to 0 to 1 and if you talk about x of t where t belongs to 1 to 2 in that case here we need to say x of t that is mt plus c that is a line right if you talk about slope of this line then that is negative falling slope that is negative always remember that and it is change in y by change in x that is minus 1 so here this m that is minus 1 so we need to identify this constant c that one can identify by placing any point of this line you can place this point or you can place this point right so let us put point that is s per t comma x of t if i say this point then that will be t is equals to 2 and x of t that is 0 right if you place this in this then you will be getting 0 is equals to minus 2 plus c means c is equals to plus 2 so now we have a function of x of t see here i am writing this x of t that is equals to t for t is there in between 0 to 1 and x of t that is minus t plus 2 4 t is there in between 1 2 2 right now based on this function we can easily identify energy so one should know energy calculation energy is e is equals to integration where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite square of this signal right now here we need to place all the limits so here if you observe first limit then that is there from 0 to 1 where x of t that is t so x of t square that is t square and 
second limit that is there from 1 to 2 where we have x of t that is minus t plus 2. So square of minus t plus 2 that will be t square minus 4t plus 4 right. Now we need to integrate this. So t square integration that is t cube by 3 limit is there from 0 to 1. Here integration of t square that is t cube by 3 minus 4 into t integration is there. So integration of t is t square by 2. So in total it will be 2t square plus 4t where limit is there from 1 to 2. Now just substitute the limits. Let me check my answer. For this my answer is 2 by 3. Right. My answer for this question is 2 by 3. Just check it in your calculator. You will be getting this only. So here we have this signal that is energy signal and for energy signal power is 0. So this is how we can simply solve questions based on energy and power. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.